morning everybody it's been a while since we poked in in here sorry the wind is kind of out today I took the kids out for a walk at the park because it seems like sometimes we get started homeschooling and they get time outside but between you know making meals together and running the house and doing the schooling sometimes it takes me a while to get outside and then I don't there's days where I don't get out at all and it's so important to see the sun for what 20 minutes a day to make that vitamin D be healthy the kids are out here running and uh, just getting their vitamin D so and I get to get that walk in to help lower my blood sugar hopefully <laughs> Show me how it moves again, son. So he made an elevator in here. This is his casino, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. It almost looks like a boat, too, like it could be maybe a casino that floats on the water. Yeah. And it has a cafe and it has a crane. And what do you use the crane for? Like picking up um, storage and stuff so you could put it up here or on top. For heavy things? Yeah. That's such a great idea. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing. You're this is what is this? Oh, this is this is sage. This is thyme, and this is tarragon. I think. Okay. And whatever it was here died. Oh, this was dill. Dill died out. And then this is flat parsley. And then um, curly parsley is down here. I got a ton of parsley. I just need to cut that and give some away. I'll give some to the neighbor down the street. And um, then I've got some flowers in here. These beds I'm going to be working on today. They really, really. Um, need help. <laughs> I just have been ignoring them for so long. So I'm going to leave the herbs over there. I'll probably put more herbs in here. Um, but I had this tool. My sister had a brilliant idea. Uh, I was trying to keep the chickens out of here. And this little wire fence here worked for a very long time. And then they started getting brave and jumping over the fence and then just tearing the gardening stuff to shreds. So I put some tool over it so they got plenty of sunshine and I couldn't see them very much but you know I could kind of see them still. They got a lot of water and everything but the chickens didn't really want to go in. Then they got brave and started jumping on the tool and trying to peck through. So this one is another bed that I'm working on here today. So I've got some, this was supposed to be Russian kale but it never really got too big because the chickens kept picking at it. And then I had some flowers that they ruined here. Lots of Swiss chard that they ruined here. These are beet greens. Apparently they don't like those so much. And then they ruined the Swiss chard that I had going on here. My acorn squash has been trampled out. Um, what else? Oh, Brussels sprouts. They love Brussels sprouts, apparently, because they ruined three of those plants. I love my chickens, but they just wreaked havoc out here this winter and it was just really hard for me to get out here and battle that. You know, I don't know what this is. I think it was mescaline and it just kind of like grew crazy. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's broccoli. I actually need, maybe I left a little plastic thingy down there. I'll have to hunt for it. But I do have some collard greens that seem to be growing in here okay and they're actually flowering already so when it flowers you know your gardening greens get a little bitter so i'm not sure if they're going to be any good to eat or not oh no those were cauliflower that was cauliflower not kale and that's gone to flowering here too and then over here i've got some beet greens and i've got a bunch of onions that are growing down here and i think i can pick those already but i do love these green onion tops and so I pick those every now and again. But anyway, so I've got three other large beds besides these two that we need to work on today and get this garden back to growing and hopefully maybe 
we can figure out a way to keep the chickens out of here. Well, I wanted to say one more thing about the tool. Um, if you use it in your garden to keep like the birds and the chickens out, which is all real well and good, but you have to remember that it also pretty much keeps the bees out. So if you don't want to keep the bees out and you want them to pollinate, I would take the tool off. So the tool doesn't really work for the bees. It does work to keep the birds out. Hey guys, oop, I can't really see me. That sun is like right behind me. Let me see if I can get there. I know I look terrible. Okay, so um, oh, I am trying to de-weed, de-grass this one big bed that's out here. I'll show it to you. It's just, this one's in a shambles. And I have to get all the grass out of here, get more dirt in here and till it properly before I can replant. And so it all has to happen today and it is a booger. I'll show you what happened. Well, let me do it this way. So this is a big bed and it kind of like fell um, to the wayside as far as like me taking care of it and weeding it um, this last season. I just couldn't get out here. And so I've got some kale that is growing and some that have still kind of like stuck around. But for the most part, some grass got in here and it's just really, really hard to get it out. And so I'm just having to cut it all out. Um, like this, you know, bent over because I don't want to use weed killer. I don't want to use grass killer because I want to plant here. So there's really nothing else to do except get down on your hands and knees and do it. But on the good side, I'm getting a lot of um, sunshine and some exercise and some yoga. All right, just about got them all out. This has been the worst bed. We've got three large ones and two small ones and got all those nasty grass and weeds out. I left the kale over here. I had to replant a couple of them and then uh, I can plant around them. And I have a helper out here taking all the grass out from the outside of the box. Thanks Shane. You're welcome. Max and Ruby are back. They just flew in while we were sitting out here by the pool. <laughs> They're the random ducks that just chose our pool to come and swim at. <laughs> They're so cute. And it's just comfortable. They, I guess this is their, their vacation home. They're so cute and dogs are trying to go crazy but we stopped them from barking. Aren't they pretty? They're so sweet. They eat the bugs in the pool so that's cool. Okay guys, so we finished, all, yesterday we did all this work and I'm very happy to tell you now it's very cleaned out. Um, still left the onions and some beets in there. Um, we've got some small melons, tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes because the cherry tomatoes were here before and they grow really big. They love it here. I've got melon, cherry tomatoes. I left that in here. That is um, a Brussels sprout. Let's just see what it does. Um, and then I've got bell peppers, bell peppers, tomatoes, peppers, peppers. Peppers and tomatoes do well together. So as they come up and they get big, I will weed out uh, we'll, and replant some to give the others more room. Left some flowers in here and the beet greens here. Left the Russian kale because I wanna see what that's gonna do. Um, over here, I put in some basil around the flowers and some mint, spearmint, some rosemary is here now. Left these flowers here and then I brought some cilantro back over here on this side of all these herbs. And I'll show you the other, all right. And this is that terrible box that had all those those terrible green grass weeds in them. That was such a pain. All right, um, I've got some tomatoes over here, and these are, I think, like the big beefy tomatoes. So let's we'll see how those do over here. I planted them pretty deep. Tomatoes like um, some deep roots. All right, and then over here, I have peppers. I've got some more green peppers over here and yellow peppers. And then I left the kale there because that's, I could still cook that. That's still going going well. And then over here, I have some, um, some green zucchini here and a bunch of okra. 
And uh, my husband doesn't like okra too much, but maybe I can find a good way to cook it and he'll eat Okay, it. over here in this box, I left the Swiss chard here, the big ones here. Um, and then in the back, I have climbing collard greens, three big ones back there. And then I have some, uh, what are those? Oh, some more green zucchini in here because they seem to like this area here. And up front here, I have mustard greens growing all in a row here. And I'll show you the last box. All right, I've got one more box over here. Our youngest planted carrots in here, which I think it's still too early for, but I said we'd try it. See how they do? Tomatoes, more black beauty green zucchinis um, here, here, and there. And then I've got some a few spaghetti squash plants back here. And so there's a beefsteak tomato and another green um, zucchini. So let's let's hope these ones do well. Okay, so those are the gardening boxes. It took a lot of work this weekend, especially that one box. It was just such a it was in such a mess and I had to spend like so much time in it. I think it was like six or seven hours just weeding and tilling that thing by hand because I didn't want to put any poison in there. Uh, but anyway, so I think it's gonna be okay. I think that one box is actually gonna be a pain in the neck because there's still a lot of grass in there and the more it gets watered, it's just gonna keep coming up with the vegetables that are in there. But um, I think it'll be worth it if I can keep it clean and stay on it, but it is definitely gonna be the, um, the trial this year. So anyway, if you have any ideas on how to get rid of grass in a box, but not kill your plants, let me know. I am not really a green thumb. I mean, it is a miracle that I get things to grow <laughs> every year, but um, so I'm grateful for that, but I'm open to tips um, because I'm really learning. So, okay guys, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for stopping in at Sweetwater Place. And again, I mean, I think about it all the time and I just need to put up more videos. Um, I think sometimes what I'd like to do is just take you for walks and just have a long talk with you, but i um, not so sure if you'd like that or not. If you would, then let me know. If you just wanna do talks, coffee talks once in a while, um, I'd like to do that. Okay, I'll see you soon, bye.